proprietary companies I've dealt with who recognize that free software is more efficient. But if they're doing leading edge things, they tend to think they can make more money being less efficient. So sometimes their goal in making profit and locking in customers is more important to them than the efficiency in which the software is written. And their goal is not to be efficient, their goal is to make profit. Efficiency is a tool towards profit, but not the only one. How do you compare Red Hat as a distro to the dozens of other Linux distros around the world? Well, the, the, there are two, two Red Hat distributions, really. Uh, the Red Hat Enterprise Linux product is very focused on business, being supportable, being conservative. So it won't have the latest and greatest features a lot of the other distributions will. And that's because we found business customers want to know their software works. The Fedora project, which is our other thing, is very, very close to the community. So it's much more similar to things like the Debian project and Gen 2 and the kind of things they're trying to do. Having the latest and greatest software, having it packaged in an easy-to-use fashion. We've tried with that to do a couple of things we think are our strengths. So to pick software, to integrate it very well has been one of them, and to do regular releases. So we're trying to put some of the business um, discipline we have into the community product to help the community as well as also helping us in having a, a good regular release. How does one make money in open source? Um, services, support. The, only about 10% of the cost of software is normally assumed to be the cost of writing the software in the first place. Most of the actual software costs are the maintenance and support of it. So companies sell maintenance contracts, support, Red Hat sell training services, for example. It's like a large number of other products. Um, you build most of your value around the, the things that go with the product rather than the product itself. Do you find support with regards to the open source world to be on a, on a number of levels uh, compared to proprietary software support? It's on a very wide variety of levels. Um, that's actually really important because with a lot of proprietary software, if you go and you want support, there is only one support vendor. With Linux, I can, for example, go to Red Hat and say, I want 24 by 7 support. I want really high-end business support and I'll pay for it. At the same time, I can also go down the road to the university, find an undergraduate and say, can you fix this? this bug for me, it's really annoying and our, our vendor isn't interested. So not only is there a wide selection of support and options, but I as the customer get to pick rather than the supplier dictating what the support terms are. 